Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> I think I say the same exact thing every time. Today, I'm doing this look for you right here. I have no idea what I'm going to call this, but it'll be up in the title. I basically just wanted to create something that was fun and colorful, but st but not heavy on the top of your eyelids because I've realized that when I go out dancing with my friends and I am wearing a lot of makeup, it like runs down my face. <laughs> so I wanted to do something that was still, you know, nighttime appropriate, but wouldn't isn't eye heavy necessarily on the top. I just basically have color on the bottom and that's pretty much it. I used the new Kat Von D Metal Crush eyeshadows. I have them in almost every single color and they are so awesome. So you could basically do this look with any of these colors. I'll probably be doing this again with like the teal or the green. I don't know. It depends on what I'm feeling that day. But for today I went with the coppery berry toned color because I love my berry tones. And if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So I'm starting off priming with my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Primer. I like to use this primer when I use a more matte foundation, which sounds weird because luminizing and or luminous and matte are contradictory, but I find that if I use a luminizing primer and a matte foundation like the one I'm showing right now, which is the Kat Von D Tattoo Foundation, it creates a more natural finish because it's not too matte and it's not too dewy or luminous and I really just like this combination lately. So I'm blending out my foundation with a Marc Jacobs foundation brush. Oh, sorry, I got a text message. <laughs> and so I'm just blending that all over my face, including my down my neck and on my ears as well. So I'm going to conceal now and also highlight at the same time using a Maybelline concealer. I'm not exactly sure the name of this because all of my makeup is packed away since I'm leaving on a trip tomorrow, so I will link it below. But I am using this to highlight and conceal underneath my eyes, highlight the center of my forehead and the center of my chin. And I'm going to blend this out using a Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. I really like this brush to blend out concealer because as you can see, I tend to put a lot of concealer on. And this, bl this, blush, <laughs> this brush blends it out really nicely and doesn't make it look cakey or anything like that. And doesn't show how much concealer I may have had on my face to begin with. <laughs> So I'm just going to continue to blend all that in and make sure that there are no lines between the concealer and my foundation. And then I made a funny face because I looked really pale in the viewfinder. <laughs> and now I'm showing you my Kat Von D Shade and Lights palette, which I've been absolutely obsessed with. My friend Caitlin got it for me, so shout out to her. She's awesome. I'm using the yellowish shade that's in the middle to set my concealer because it will hide the blueness of the under eye bags that I may have underneath my eyes. And then I will eventually, come on Emily, there we go, I will take the first powdered shade in the palette and set the rest of my concealer, the other parts of my face that I highlighted with, so my forehead and chin and nose area, just to make sure that my concealer doesn't move throughout the day. And then I'm going to bronze my face using my Milani bronzer that I love on a Real Techniques Multitasks brush. I'm going to place it starting right at my hairline in a angle downward towards the corner of my mouth. That's the desired spot that you should be putting your bronzer. And then I switched to a fluffier brush because my bronzer was kind of dark and a fluffier brush will blend it out better as opposed to the dense brush that I had started with and then I'm just blending it upward towards my temples and then I'm going to also use some of the Kat Von D Shade and Lights palette the uh, brown shade in the middle this is a more warm tone shade and so I prefer that when I'm bronzing my skin as opposed to if I was going to contour I would use the first shade because that one is more ashy toned and more cool which is better for contouring. So now I'm just doing that same exact thing to the other side, blending my contour out, warming up my face, especially since my foundation was a little bit light and a little bit yellow for the color tan I am now. I want to make sure that I bronze my face well enough so that it all blends together. And now I'm going to use blush also a Milani product. This is their blush in, or their baked blush in Rose d'Or. I'm just going to lightly place that this on my cheekbones and the apples of my cheek to add a little bit more color and life to my face. The foundation that I started with is super heavy, so it gives you a very 
one color, one dimension face. So you want to add a lot of blush and bronzer to balance it out. And now I'm highlighting with the Jaclyn Hill Becca Cosmetics highlighter in Champagne Pop. I've talked about this before. It's my favorite highlighter ever. I'm using it all over my cheekbones and on top of my blush as kind of a blush topper just because I want as much of this on my face as possible. <laughs> And now brows. So my brows I'm not actually going to do on camera because they take a while and if you would like to see a brow tutorial I will do one of those below or link tell me below and I will do one of those for you. <laughs> now eyes I'm starting out with the Maybelline color tattoo and putting that all over my lid and blending it upwards just so that I have a nice base for my eyeshadow. And I'm using bronzer as my transition color. I do this a lot because bronzer the bronzer that you use on your face if you use it on your eyes it not only helps to kind of add dimension to your eyes but also look really natural and it matches the bronzer that you have on your face so everything is really cohesive now i'm going to use one of the metal crush eyeshadows from kat von d that i love this one i'm not sure of the name but i'll link it below and i'm just lightly placing some Oh, like in the crease area not necessarily pushing it into the crease but just kind of fluffing it on there to add some pigmentation and then with a Sigma E40 and some of Makeup Geek's uh, creme brulee eyeshadow I'm dusting all over that uh, Kat Von D shade because I don't want it to be super intense and super pigmented I just want kind of a light wash of color so I'm blending all over the color not just like on top of it to blend it with the transition shade I was blending it all over and then I'm using some of Makeup Geek's, Makeup Geek's <laughs> Shimmer Shimmer eyeshadow on the inner corner mostly of my eyelid but blending it all over with a Sigma E40 brush and now with my concealer brush that I put my concealer on with originally I just cleaned up the corner of my eye so it wasn't so messy and now using a Kat Von D liquid eyeliner pencil I am making a wing if you want to see a more in-depth video of how I do my wing, let me know because I kind of do it in a weird way where I do the wing first and then I add eyeliner to my lash line. I don't know why, but that's just how I do it. It's strange, but it works for me. <laughs> and then I'm taking that same Metal Crush eyeshadow on a shader brush and I'm heavily packing this on the um, lower lash line because this look is supposed to be very lower lash line heavy. So I took um, some... Makeup Geek Creme Brulee on a pencil brush, the same shade we used to blend at the top, and blended out my lower lash line, but it wasn't as dark as I had wanted it to be, so I went back in with more of the Metal Crush eyeshadow and repeated the steps, but this time when I blended it, blended it out with the pencil brush, I didn't add any extra product. I just took the the brush the way it was from before and blended it out so that the color stayed as dark as it was but the line isn't so harsh and then on a angled brush I took more of that color and I actually sprayed this with a little fix plus if you would like it to be even more intense and lined my lash line with it just so that it doesn't take away from the color but it, because if you were to add black it would have taken away from the color but in, but using the red color that I originally had just makes the lash line look a little bit thicker and now I am matching the wing by dragging some of that red up there right underneath and now I am going to add mascara to my um, upper and lower lashes and then I will be putting oh and then I'm going to clean up my eyelids because I always get eyeshadow or mascara all over my eyelids and a q-tip is a really good way to clean that up and then using some of Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer eyeshadow, the one I use on my eyelids, I am highlighting my brow bone and my inner corner of my eye. Then using a Milani uh, lip liner, I'm just filling in my lips completely. This is like a nudish color because I really wanted the true color of that Bite Beauty lipstick that I'm putting on my lips right now to show through. It is a beautiful cranberry color and it's called Brandy. I'm obsessed with it right now. And then I decided I wanted my eyes to be a little more smoky, so I added some Costa Riche from MAC to my waterline, and that's it. So I really hope you enjoyed this look. Let me know what you would like to see next, and thank you for watching. See you later. Bye!